there weren't so many personal development books in the in the 80s, which is when I was in my 20s. Right. I was trying to figure out why some people I knew were a whole lot happier than I was, mm -hmm. and what I could do to have their attitude. And I began reading a lot of books about personal development. But what I noticed was that a lot of the books that I read were kind of boring. They had big words. Uh, none of them had cartoons. Every book should have cartoons. Mm -hmm. So I thought maybe if I could write a book that was simple, that had simple language, simple stories, uh, cartoons that conveyed the message, mm -hmm. maybe I could create a self-help book that would reach a lot of people that don't normally read. And so a lot of what I write about is not that new. When I talk about um, forgiving ourselves rather than being too tough on ourselves, uh, when I talk about setting goals that have meaning for us rather than trying to please other people, mm -hmm. if I talk about not blaming other people as a way to have our own life work because then we start to take action rather than figure that it's the world's fault. Mm -hmm. Uh, I talk about things like the subconscious mind and how that controls what we get, okay. how we attract what we think about. Well, since then you've had an entire line of other books and the newest one is How Life Works. And this is more of like it answers the question on why the same things keep happening to, the, to people. So what is the main uh, message you have for this particular book? Well, in, uh, firstly there's a myth around that's been around for, I don't know, 20,000 years, which is that uh, if you can be successful then you'll be happy. Mm -hmm. And uh, the truth is, if you can be happy, then you'll be successful. Uh, our brain works better, our problem-solving ability works better, we feel healthier, we have more energy, we attract people, mm -hmm. and we move from one little success to another when we can enjoy what we do. Right. So that was really the, the theme of, of how life works. When I, when I was reading this book uh, the other day, I just I, I made a pact to myself that when I wake up in the morning, I'm going to think of just you know, positive words, positive thoughts to start my day. Yeah. If you could give me three of your most favorite positive words that one could repeat just to start their day right, what would uh, it be? Well, one of the affirmations that I have for myself, and if I'm out running or jogging on the beach or something, um, I, I tell myself, I am love, uh, I am peace, uh, I am happiness. The secret is that we create our reality and then our reality is shaped by how we think about it and how we act on our thoughts. One of the things that I did when I found that I was not feeling that grateful or I, you know, we, we all go through hips and hollows and we think, we think I could be doing better. Mm -hmm. I got myself a pin-up board that I put next to my desk okay. and I got photographs of all the people in my life that I love the most and all of my favorite experiences, places that I've been with my wife, Julie. And the key to that is that when you look at it, you don't say how happy I was, you say how lucky I am. Okay, thank you so much, thank Andrew. You so much. Thank you so much for being here, thank you.